Here we are back in my kitchen. This is one of my granddaughters, Naomi. Call her Nene though. Nene, would you like to know what we're having for supper? Let me show you, Grandma will show you. We're gonna have a nice salad. We're gonna have strawberries and some great ingredients. I'm gonna come back and show you how to make my favorite dressing. We're gonna throw some carrots on the grill. We're gonna grill up some pineapple with cinnamon sugar. Oh yeah. And we're gonna cook some fish tonight. And I'm gonna show you a little trick of the trade. Back to my grilling mat for the fish. And come on over here. We're going to be using the classic cast iron frying pan. Now, they think this frying pan is like over 50 years old. It's been come down through the family, so you will have to cook with it. We have scallops, we have bacon, we're gonna make butter lemon sauce. It's pretty hot out here because I've got a hot barbecue. When you're cooking fish, you want it hot and you want to cook it fast. I've got a cooking mat down. I've used olive oil. I just drizzled the olive oil on the cooking mat. I sprinkled my fish with a lemon and herb seasoning and you only turn your fish once. Do your fish about three minutes on each side, depending on the thickness of the fish. So the salmon's gonna take a bit longer. And in our pouch, we've got our carrots sizzling away here. We added a little garlic in there and they'll come out nice and crispy on the bottom. Now we got our very hot cast iron frying pan. I've already cooked up the bacon in the pan. And then I just toss some butter and my scallops in. My scallops were nice and thawed, damp, take as much moisture out as you can. And now we're just gonna do a quick flip in the pan with the butter and um, add a little lemon juice and a little kosher salt and we'll be good. Dinner is now served. We have our cinnamon sugar pineapple. I put it right on the cooking grill after the fish was done. We've got our bacon and scallops. We have our um, haddock and our salmon. And a bit, the carrots ended up a little bit crunchy, but you know, many of us like that little extra crisp. I threw in a little cauliflower rice. And now here is the trick to my salad dressing. Ready? This is amazing. If you measure equal ingredients of grapeseed oil, because grapeseed oil is very light, it's hard to cook with it, but it's excellent in salad dressing. Uh, a white wine vinegar or an apple cider vinegar, really any vinegar if you're choosing, but I like the white wine vinegar. And maple syrup, because we're Canadian, we gotta have maple syrup. So equal parts of those three, mix them up. I did a quarter cup each, a little salt and pepper, shake it up. This dressing is to die for. We just drizzle it over our nice pressed greens, our strawberries, little onion, little celery, and dinner looks divine. Okay, Naomi, dinner's ready. Come and eat, honey. <laughs> Yay! Isn't it gonna be delicious? Well, from my house to yours, enjoy. Oh, all right.